Good day, this is Brad Caleb, PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger. For we continue to work on the proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter. Today we're talking about holy wing nuts. How come that holy wing nuts fail to partake in the power and knowledge of God? The Great Reset versus the New World Order, Restoration, Restorative Justice. 37. Why am I talking about the reset, the Great Reset? For a while, many people were aware of the New World Order under Mr. Bush. The first Bush that became a president, former CIA, head of the CIA. It's amazing that all those people that become president have something special. And this time we have Mr. Trump, who is now no longer president that will be re-elected, one-term president, but his speciality is something else. It's more maybe a characteristic that has developed itself over a period of time. Otherwise, I won't be able to subscribe a man that is a narcissist, lost himself more than anything else. He lost himself more than God lost him. And then on top of it, he lies, he cheats, he steals, he does whatever it takes to make sure he stays in the news. But the worst part is the holy wing nuts that are supporting him, the body of Christ. How come that they are so blinded? Are they failing to partake in the power and knowledge of God? For each time they promote, thus says the Lord, they speak in behalf of God Almighty, and yet Mr. Vice President Biden-elect is going to be the new president. What is wrong with the holy wing nuts? Let's find out. It is said that I have to call them the holy wing nuts because I cannot understand what is happening. Earlier, we talked about 325, a major time period in the lives of Christianity. See, the question that I posed before, is Jesus a Christian? Many have been wondering, what in the world is that question all about? But the reality is, Jesus was never a Christian. Yeshua HaMashiach is his name. And over a period of time, as usual, Satan had to attack everything that comes from God. In the beginning, in the paradise, when Adam and Eve got the garden, automatically Satan has to attack and make sure that they got kicked out of the garden. And now that he is in charge over this society, part of the problems that we are facing in a pandemic, and folks, this is for real. Part of the pandemic is paying off the debt to Satan. Because for some strange reason, when Yeshua, uh, sorry, first Adam and Eve, then we're going to the second milestone, then Moses got the commandments for the children of light. Because Moses had not just ten commandments, he had the commandments for the children of light. But the children of light were not yet established to ratify the covenant. And if there is a covenant not signed by both parties, then the covenant is not what it is. It does not, it's not binding. And so the third person who did this was Yeshua HaMashiach. He came, he fulfilled the law as God intended it to be for the children of light. He trained his 12 disciples as the children of the light. Remember the children of the light, folks. That is what we are missing here. So when we talk about holy wingnuts, when did they become Christians? They became Christians 160 years before, or actually 138 years before Jesus was born. Because at that time, Christians were people that were followers of a God, a false God. Serapis. Serapis was one stone god that people prayed to. And they were called Christians. 
We talked about this in earlier videos, so I don't want to go and elaborate too much on this. But the fact was that Christianity was not new. Christianity had nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Christianity has something to do politically. Politically, the emperor of Rome was fed up with what was going on. But he was also a pagan that prayed to the sun. And so therefore, him being in a position as an emperor, a political powerhouse, he made a deal and he established the Pope in Rome. The Pope was supposed to get the power over Christianity. Now, why are we talking about power? If we are children of the light, we are children of God Almighty. We don't have a father here on earth that has to be a Pope. We have a father that is God Almighty. And so when the body of Christ started missing and failing in every aspect that Jesua taught them, Jesua taught the disciples how to become followers of the way, the truth and the light. Do you now understand why my PhD stands for post hole dicker? You see, for me, it took a long time. It took me six decades to understand this, to, one decade to really work it out because it took a while. We were brainwashed to believe that what we were taught at school, Christian schools, seminaries, Bible schools, whatever, that we are Christians followers of Christ. Well, in reality, when you discover what the name truly is, it's a follower of a God, of a deity. If God said, if God says, if God says, if God says, I repeat it, if God says there is only one God, and we are praying to more than one God, then something is wrong. And that is why I am talking about holy wingnuts. Some it is very important to double check what I said. So we go to the Merriam-Webster, and that is a, a dictionary, and it says that unholy wingnut is a mentally deranged person or one who advocates extreme measures or changes. Radical. And Proverbs 18 verse 21 says in the complete Jewish Bible, the tongue has power over life and death. Those who indulge it must eat its fruit. God's word with its multiple layers and meanings, often people will say they know the story, but here is the rest of the story. See, when we just hear a story about God, about Jesua, we have to understand that when God speaks, God spoke in the language of power, of light. And the language of light is spoken Actually, if we may explain it in a simple way, on a 12th dimension, way above our head, we in general terms speak on three dimensions. We have a line, we have a triangle, and we have a circle. That is usually what we're talking about when we talk and explain about a house, about a room, the width, the height, and the size of the total, the cubic content of something. That's what I explain as a simple way to understand that our way of communicating is different. But when we learn to speak as the children of the light, we learn to speak with power and might. And we understand and also that the Ten Commandments are not just commandments, those are the basics. If you can't meet the basic norm, how in the world are you supposed to understand what God means? when we are the followers of the way, the truth, and the light. Yet we change it into Christianity, which becomes a lie. Folks, if you love the Lord and you are a Christian, I was brought up, I was raised a Christian. My mom died very early in life, and so I ended up for seven years in an orphanage. I was only six when that happened. And when I came back, when my father remarried, I did not fit the bill of a family. And so shortly thereafter, I was basically living on the street. But you know, God's love gave me an opportunity to complete my studies. I went to Bible school and seminary, and yes, 
I ended up in a practical Bible school and dealing with inmates for 12 years in a ministry for inmates. But the reality is my eyes opened when I ended up in prison myself, sentenced for six years times three, because I dare say no to money people, people that were powerhouses in money. They call themselves Freemasons, connected with the Illuminati. And that is where my eyes open. And that is why I start to realize what we as Christianity have been following falls on the PMS, politics, money, and spirituality or religion are used by Satan to manipulate, to lie, and to cheat so that we, as the followers of Yeshua, the way, the truth, and the light will be confused. So let's go back and how can we deal with this confusion? See, God is a God of living and Satan is a God of the dead. And what about the body of Christ? Christians appear to be funny people. They seem very flexible. But if they believe one thing and then immediately decide to be certain of a different thing, they sense and they switch so easily. That's why there are so many different religions. They all claim to be based on the Bible. We have, I don't know how many translations of the Bible, at least more than 20. And the King James Version, the authorized King James, quote unquote, is one of the most favorite ones. Yet combined, it seemed to be the ultimate tool for Trump to keep on lying. See, Trump has found out that there is power in control. Because if there's one thing that he knows, is finding the weaknesses of people. And all of a sudden, the powerhouse of the body of Christ is praying with Mr. Trump while he just laughs and thinks whatever he thinks. So, my question is, what does that tell about the body of Christ? If the body of Christ is enabling Mr. Trump to be the person that he is, if he is sick, he can't help it. If he makes himself sick, that's his choice. If he is a narcissist and the typical aspects of a narcissist are that they love themselves more than anything else. I don't have to go and dissect Mr. Trump. That's not the part of this session. The session is all about the body of Christ. Holy wingnuts. They claim to be one and act the other side. So what about the body of Christ? As I said already, Trump has found a political run. He found out that he can manipulate people a very simple way. And so therefore, we will find the following. There are many spiritual leaders that follow Mr. Trump. One of them is Paula White, a televangelist who promises her donors their angel. Well, folks, if you understand how the Word of God works, you all have your angels. You can talk even directly with your angels. You don't need Paolo White for that. Because the Word of God himself, that is the one that we need. There are other people like Pat Robertson, Kenneth Copeland, John Hakey, Sid Roth. Those are just simple names that pops up but there are beside them so many more. They control millions and millions of people. And those are the people that Trump manipulates. So lest you become the slaves of Satan. Folks, you have become a slave. You have become a slave of Satan. Although you think you're following Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ, was he a Christian? I asked that question several times. Because reality shows, Jesua HaMashiach was his name. And Christian was not a follower of Jesus Christ. Christianity was known way before Jesus was born. I've shown that in several videos, so I don't want to go over that today. But Christianity existed before Jesus was born. So don't kid yourself. If you are 134 years before Jesus, was born known to men as Christians, 
then you are to find out what a Christian really is. It is a pagan following a pagan God. So you are praying to a different God than God Almighty. So God says, be true sons of God. And you, answered Jesus, be true sons of God, that you also may partake in his power and the knowledge of all secrets. If God has spoken to different people, like Sid Roth keeps on proclaiming that God has said around Christmas, first and foremost, Christmas is a fake. Uh-oh. Christmas is a fake. This has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus. Because, yes, Jesus was born. But paganism has taken over. And you are celebrating a pagan celebration of the shortest day of the year. Folks, wake up. I don't want to go there. But you have to figure that out. So wisdom and power of God comes only from the love of God. If you do love the Lord, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Therefore love your heavenly father and your earthly mother with all your heart and with all your spirit. See, when God took the soil and blew on it, his breath, activated and made us or made Adam and as such we are all created that way and we can serve them and the angels may serve you also if we serve God angels will serve us and sacrifice your deeds to God and do not feed Satan each time that you're doing this you are feeding Satan and the wages of sin are is death do you want to know why we have a pandemic at the moment? We have a pandemic because we are paying the wages of sin, folks. We have made a killing a profession. We are professional killers. When we kill of the word of God in our lives and we love Satan by feeding Satan in everything, by failing to conduct ourselves as sons of God, as daughters of God. That's why it is so important that the wages of sin is death. But God lies, but with God lies the reward of the good, his love, which is knowledge and power of eternal life. If you want to know how to overcome this problem, we need to seek the peace of the Lord. Peace be with you. You see, when we got to meet the true values of life and Moses was introducing the Ten Commandments, the commandments, they were for the children of light. And the Lord called unto Moses out of the mountain, saying, Moses, come unto me, for I would give thee the law for thy people, which shall be a covenant for the children of light. Wow! The children of light? Who are those children? Those are the ones that are following the way, the truth and the light. So what is the meaning of peace of mind? Peace with God is spiritual reconciliation between family members. My father and I, we are reconciled. Your father and you are reconciled. Restorative justice is a restored relationship between our heavenly father and us his children the prodigal son and daughter Yeshua HaMashiach also known as Jesus was the first brother who restored this relationship he was my brother he is your brother but in paradise when God gave this right to Adam and Eve they got rudely interrupted by Satan who lied to Adam and Eve and again, when the Israelites did not validate the commandments because they were partying, 
And Moses got so mad, he threw those Ten Commandments. We all have seen the movie, or hopefully you have. But first, that those commandments were issued for the children of light. Thus eventually, when Jesua came, he loved the Lord so much and enough that he was willing to sacrifice his life. And he was the first to open the way, the truth and the light. And John 14 verse 27 says, What I am leaving with you is shalom. I am giving you my shalom, my peace. I do not give you the way the world gives. Do not let yourself be upset or frightened. So what is happening with the pandemic? You get frightened. You are dealing with Satan, folks. This is a result of the wages of sin. And Philippians says, 4 verse 7, then God is shalom, passing all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds safe in union with Messiah, Yeshua. Folks, we can read this personally, but we have to experience something, an experience of freedom. When freedom and peace of mind sets in, and we are discovering the way, the truth, and the life, when we follow that, we will be taught by the Spirit of God. For me, it took me many, many decades because I'm 70 years of age. And yes, I am excited about the fact that I can share this with you. But I'm also disappointed that it took me so long because I never questioned my pastors, my teachers, the people that taught me what the Bible was all about. And when I followed the rules, in court, I learned the difference. I learned what it is when you are questioned on everything you believe and you get laughed at. I dare to say no to a friend of mine who was the head of the Freemasons. And I got for 18 years challenged in court, six years with lawyers at a cost of $10 million. And when I had no more money left over, I had to continue self-defense, which we did, my wife and I, and we, lost i lost but you know what happened i won on appeal and eventually the victory was ours but then is where i learned to recognize the value of evidence true evidence will lead you to the same conclusion that 325 a.d you became a pagan christian that had nothing to do with jesua hamashiach or known to you as Jesus. Folks, I say this because I love you. I want you to become a success, to get the peace, to get the light in your life. And you know, when you understand this peace, you will notice the difference in your life. You will change because God's love is so tremendous. It's so awesome. So how do we get there? Well, <laughs> In order to become a son of light, you have to shore up and you have to seek the hidden treasure. The hidden treasure that is it's and something that you have to learn to accept. See, the hidden treasure is within you. You have to follow the way, the truth and the light. And the only way to do that is to actually turn around. No matter what your pastor tells you, no matter what your youth leader tells you, no matter what all the professors are telling you, if your foundation is built on stone and not on the rock of Yeshua HaMashiach, I tell you, my friends, you are guilty because you are a slave of Satan. And that is why God wrote the books. He said, I will write it on your heart and in your spirit, because that is something what Satan cannot touch. He said, you do not understand the words of life because you are in death. Darkness darkens your eyes and your ears are plugged with deafness. It sounds funny, but they're filled with crap. For I tell you, it profits you not at all that you are pouring over dead scriptures. In other words, 
You are reading the Word of God. You think you understand it, but you only understand a very little tiny level of it. Because when God speaks, He speaks to the children of light. You will get insight in the Word of God to stay alive, to become alive first and foremost, to stay alive and to become victorious. And that, my friend, that is more important than following as a holy wing nut, a trump that lies, that steals. And very soon, hopefully, you will open your eyes because he is part of an oppressor. Free me from the hands of my oppressor, Satan. You see, Jesus turned to the sick folks and said, I speak to you in parables that you may better understand God's word. Understanding the word of God is so important that you are facing something that is not fun. It's because Satan is having your debt paid in full. But God is willing to help you. When I say God is willing to help you, God is waiting for you to turn around, to come and follow the way, the truth. God is willing to wait for you to follow the way, the truth and the light. But very soon, folks, time is up. We have to realize that the holy wing nuts cannot continue going on. Following a man, not following God. Following Satan, because you have been deceived. Pagan worshippers, pagan Christianity has nothing to do with following Yeshua HaMashiach because you would be following the way, the truth and the light. But remember, tough times never last. Tough people do. God bless you. Bye for now.